Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Marlon here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Fedra, Colorado. And today, guys, I want to bring to you one of our inventory. And this is the beautiful 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. And today, I'm going to show you a few uh, tips or how to remove like the whole uh, roof on that uh, SUV so it will be like a convertible SUV. Um, so we're not going to take it out today, but I'm just going to show you certain things, you know, where to go, where to store the stuff and uh, different uh, tips when it comes to the roof. But as we take a closer look, just going to show you a quick look how the, uh, the Jeep Wrangler looks with doors on. Just take a quick look. It only has 31,000 miles on it. So super low mileage. And just taking a look at the way Jeep always designed the vehicles. Um, some great headlights, great fog lights, and parking lights as well. Um, when it comes to the Jeep, you know, those tow hooks, you could easily pull somebody out of a scenario, um, help them out, or if you need to be pulled out of a situation, of, of course, as well, these tow hooks are here for that as well. Just gonna take a quick look at the engine. And with Jeeps, you don't have that, uh, you know, pop up through the inside. Um, those are clips on either side, like our freight liners, uh, clips on either side. And of course, you have that as well. And now we take a closer look inside. We got the Jeep V6 engine, three point six liter um, this actually produces 285 horsepower believe it or not um, and 260 foot pounds of torque um, gas mileage on this is 16 on this in the city and 21 on the highway so you guys do the math um, it has a 22.5 gallon tank um, so once you fill up uh, you have enough gas to go on a nice little road trip into the mountains, um, to the beach, if we had one. Um, <laughs> I mean, we have people from all over uh, getting stuff from us. So at the end of the day, you know, I could say beach today. So I'll go to the lake, um, head up in the mountains and all that stuff. Um, one thing I like about this Jeep, like I said, is a convertible SUV, um, which is pretty cool. All doors could come out, believe it or not. And the roof, the, all the roof, um, components could be out as well. So just picture this without doors and without a roof, it would be a smooth ride, just getting all that breeze into, you know, um, towards you and stuff. Um, so before we actually open inside, um, just to show you, underneath here um, on the door jams, um, we have like a little um, diamond or Allen wrench uh, point at the bottom here. So it has both ends. And with this Jeep, it comes with all the tools needed to remove this. So all you gotta do is just find the right size. And of course it'll be the bigger size. All right. And then it comes with a little wrench as well. And that will actually remove those um, hinges for the doors. So that's just on the driver's side. Inside, when you look inside, it does come with like a little um, strap. Um, we have to undo the strap. There's a little harness underneath the, the steering wheel. Um, you take that off, and then once all the hinges are off, all you gotta do is lift the door out of the, uh, out of the, uh, the hinge. Same for the passenger side. We got two screws as well here. And of course, one more strap, we remove that, and of course that door comes out. So just imagine the Jeep without doors. This is what it's gonna look like. And one of the videos we'll do, um, maybe in a couple of weeks, if we still have this on our lot, we'll try to remove everything and actually show you guys how it's done. Um, here is your gas tank right here. Like I said, 22.5 gallons. Um, trunk it does come with a bumper pool which is good for about towing capacity about four 
4,000 pounds. So not too much, um, just a very lightweight. Um, and of course we got a little window open in here. Um, to remove this part of the roof, we got two, three screws on each side. So you got one, two, three. All those are removable. And on the other side, have another three again. One, two, three. And one good thing about the Jeep that I, I, I actually found out today, um, they got some good storage so you don't lose those screws. So if, as you can see, there's four holes here, four holes here, four and four. So those are for the door hinges. So once you take it out, you can just put them here. So the left side, the right side, and then the roof has four in total. So we got three on the bottom and we got two on the top. So one on either side. Um, we got screws on either side um, up here. So four in total. And then this whole thing comes out. Like I said, the tools are included. So you don't have to worry about that. We also have a storage bag here. And what this storage bag does is, if you could just come with me on this side. Just imagine you, you wanna, you, you're heading down the road and it's hot and you decide it was, it's a beautiful day and you wanna take the top off. We got two pieces on the top here. I don't know if Church could uh, kinda like this uh, pan over. There's like two pieces up here. They come out individually. And what happens is, um, if you're coming down the road, you could pull over. The design of this bag is the design of the roof. So you could actually store both of those um, roof um, pieces inside here and actually tie it down to the trunk. So you could have it available just in case it decides to rain. Um, everything is like right there in the vehicle. Unlike the, uh, the other half of the roof, if you take it out, it's a big piece of, uh, of um, it's a big part to, to remove. So that one has to be stored in like a, a storage shed or um, your garage before you leave. So this is actually a good thing to have um, just in case you just want to take those two pieces off. To close, you got to close the window first and then you close the back end. This Jeep does come with all brand new tires on it. So you got even the spare is brand new. So all brand new tires on there. Um, it's Goodyear and it's 265 7017s. So you're getting a very good deal for an awesome vehicle. Um, checking out the back seat, all WeatherTech mats, easily cleaned. Um, just in case you guys go into the dirt or mud or whatever, this could just easily pull it out and uh, clean. And if you want more storage, you could actually, one good thing about this seat, look at how the headrest actually bends and normally it goes the other way around, but with Jeep, that's how it goes. So it's pretty awesome. So you got tons of storage, tons of room in the back here for passengers. Like I said, all the hinges could come out. The only bad thing about this, and I think there is an attachment where you could actually add a, a side mirror up here, but once you take the door out, that side mirror is gone. So if in case you do that, make sure you know the laws of your state um, so you don't drive without um, um, side mirrors. Um, you do have your rear view mirror, um, so that would work. But just be careful, find out your laws, like I said, um, throughout your state to see if this, if you could drive without side mirrors. But once you take this out, some people have attachments. They could actually put a side mirror on uh, the head of the truck, um, of the SUV. Passenger seat, they're all manual seats, so um, no electric seats here. Just in case of rain and stuff like that, like, you know, you don't, you know, electrocute yourself or anything. All weather tech mats, like I said, throughout the, SUV. It's a nice little family vehicle, you know, to head to nice little spots. You go camping. This is actually a good vehicle for um, towing behind a motorhome. So you get the tow hooks and you could actually mount this behind a motorhome and pull it wherever you're going. So this is actually a, one of the great vehicles. Jeep is one of the top vehicles for um, pulling behind a motorhome. So uh, since you guys know that, just gonna go over everything. Power windows, as you can see, the the window, the power windows are not in the doors. They are in the middle here. Um, you have your vents that are adjustable to the way you want it. Um, your AC unit up here. Um, all your traction control off. 
your descent hazard lights 12 volt your radio system does come with bluetooth um, bluetooth uh, is activated by voice only so you just follow the prompts once you hit this button or this button right here you actually talk to the vehicle and um, set up your bluetooth on here um, your stereo system is a uh, pretty much uh, um, surround sound look and feel so you got your two speakers up here and you got two in the back right behind my head here so just in case you take the roof out um, the wind doesn't take the sound away it actually brings the sound to you so this is a cool way of listening to your music on the on the way um, plenty of storage a little place to put your coins and a little area here we does come for USB port here and a 12 volt and a little storage inside here as well cup holders here and in the back and of course your power mirrors are right here like I said if you, if you decide to remove your doors I mean you wouldn't need power windows power uh, mirrors but you have the power mirrors right here accessible right in front of you um, like I said this vehicle only has 31,000 miles on it so if you have any questions about this or any of our inventory on our lot please 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 give us a call or comment in the comment slot below um, you could call me my name is Marlon Bledman at 303-684-3412 or you could call me on my cell at 661-755-4344 you could email me marlon.bledman at transwest.com if you guys have any questions um, like I said, um, if we still have this, ve um, this vehicle in a couple of weeks time, I will do a full on removing of the roof and everything so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, just bare bone, uh, convertible like and stuff. So please give me a call and I will see you guys next time for an amazing video. And thank you for tuning in. Bye.